Hello, everybody. We're going to do some more KV Core training today. So let me pull it up and share my screen on just a moment. Share screen. All right. So we're going to log into our KV Core today, uh, and I'm going to show you step by step how to get it working for you. So we're going to do login, and then we are going to go over to your smart CRM. Sorry, we're not going to start our CRM, but this is where your leads are going to be. So we are going to go over to marketing. We want to make sure your smart campaigns are on and activated. So we're going to click manage campaigns. Now you're going to see in here, I have three campaigns that are turned on. And actually, let me get into a different one. Again, mine's a little bit different. Since I'm a team leader, I get to see multiple accounts. So you're going to see I have a couple in my library. If you are a brand new agent and you're just starting, there should be nothing here. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to click over to KV Core Library, and I want you to look for a couple different ones. So the ones that I want you to look for are the conversion default, I'm sorry, the um, default new lead buyer. This should be 43 touches that you should be doing. Then we also want to look for the default new lead seller. This should be 15 touches. And then you're going to click on those in your uh, library. You're just going to click this button right here. This is add to library. Once you've done that, it's going to come back into campaigns and then you're able to just toggle it on in the blue. So that should be on. And then it's going to say, are you sure you want to allow this? And you click yes. And then that is going to allow you to automatedly reach out to your people. Now, everyone's like, well, how do I know what it's saying? Well, if you click on it, it will actually tell you what it's going to do. So it's going to tell you immediately, uh, you as the agent need to um, assign a task and it's going to tell you to call them, leave a voicemail. Um, then it's going to send an email. Uh, it's going to tell you all of these different task lists of what you can do. And it's also going to be saying uh, what it's doing to those people. So uh, you kind of want to take a look at those, look at the emails, um, look and see what it's saying and look at what your task lists are. So that, that way you are in sync with what's being sent out. Because the first thing it's going to say is, hey, uh, are you an investor? Or are you looking to buy? And then it's going to ask questions. This is not designed to be a replacement of you. It is designed to help you. So if you're driving or out and about, you just can't respond to a lead. This is going to assist you in responding to that lead. As long as it is in the new lead status, once you have moved it from new lead. So once you have had a moment to speak with that buyer, you want to shift them from new lead to active lead. And that will remove the campaigns where it's going to be automatically texting them and calling them or uh, texting them, but uh, texting them and emailing them, which you don't want it to do too much. So Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click back to marketing. And then I want you guys to go over to birthdays and anniversaries. So as you are adding people into your KV core, it will message them, hey, happy birthday or hey, happy home anniversary. Not their like we're married anniversary, but the date that they purchased their home. So what we want to do is we want to go in and toggle all of these on and press save. And it is as simple as that to get the automation rolling for your KP Core account. Now, if you wanna go in and make a totally custom um, response, you can do that. But what I would suggest is going back into those smart campaigns, looking at what every email is that's being sent out, make your own template where you've written everything down and then reach out to me and I will show you how to add those. But it is a little bit of a, a lengthy process. So I'm not gonna bore you with that on uh, Zoom or YouTube. So. Hopefully this helps for part two of how to start that automation.